Welcome to Chapter 6 of Tally Learning Hub. In this session, you will learn how to record purchases and sales in Tally ERP9. Let's first record a purchase. Press V for accounting vouchers. Press F9 for purchase. Press F2 and type the date. Type the invoice number and date of the bill your supplier has given you. Select the supplier's ledger. I will select Raj Electronics. The supplier's details are automatically captured from the ledger. Press Ctrl A in the screen. Select the purchase ledger. Press spacebar and you get the list of stock items that you have created. Select the item you have purchased. Enter the quantity and the rate. Here's a tip for you. While recording a transaction, if you find that a ledger or stock item that you require has not been created, just press Alt-C from the field where you want the ledger or stock item. This will take you to the ledger or item creation screen to help you easily create them during the transaction itself. Here, I find that I have bought a stock item, Asus 16.5 inch monitor, which is not available in my list. So, I will press Alt-C. Enter the details of the stock item. Select the group. Press Ctrl A to save this item. The stock item now appears in the transaction. Enter the quantity and the rate. Once all the stock items purchased have been selected, press Enter and come to the field after the total line. You can see that the list immediately changes to show the list of GST ledgers and other expense ledgers you may want to select. I am selecting the CGST and SGST ledgers because Raj Electronics is from my same state. In case you are buying from a supplier who is from another state, you can select the IGST ledger there. As you can see, the GST amount gets calculated automatically. Here's another tip for you. In case you want to know the rate at which the GST values have been calculated, just press Alt A for tax analysis. Press Alt F1 for a detailed view. Here you can see the rates at which GST has been charged for each item. Press Escape to come back to the voucher creation screen. Next, in case your voucher value exceeds 50,000 rupees, Tally helps you give the details for generating an e-way bill if required. For now, let's press N for no here. We'll see how to give the details for generating e-way bill in a later session. Press Enter. Type a narration for the voucher if required. The narration is nothing but a short explanation of the transaction for your future reference. Press Enter. Press Y to accept the transaction. Let's now record a sale. Press F8 for sales. Select the customer's ledger. I will select Tulsi Computers. You can enter the dispatch and other details if required. Press Ctrl A to accept the screen. Select the sales ledger. Press spacebar to get the list of items and select the item you are selling. Enter the quantity and the rate. Press enter to move the field after the total line. Select the GST ledgers. Since this customer is in another state, I will select IGST. Enter the narration if required. While recording a transaction, you get various options on the right menu which can assist you in recording the transaction. For example, Stock Query is a report which will give you all the information relating to the stock item you are purchasing or selling. Press Y to accept the transaction. If you want to print the invoice for this voucher, press Page Up. The previous voucher is shown. Press Alt P to print. If you want to see the preview of the invoice before printing, Press Alt I for preview. Press Y to print. Press F4 to zoom. All the details required in a tax invoice are automatically captured here. Press Alt P again to print the invoice. Recording purchases and sales in Tally ERP9 is just that simple and quick. All you need to do is select the type of transaction and enter the details in the required fields. All your reports are also instantly updated with these details. In our next session, you will learn how to record payments and receipts in Tally ERP9.